Oh, here we go. Look at this beautiful iguana. Where's he at? Oh. Right there, sunbathing. Yep, this is right outside where I showed you guys yesterday. Wow, he's gorgeous. Well, yeah, guys, I don't know if you can see the details, but this is typically what you find here in Florida. So all you, so all you guys out there from up north that wants that wants to come down here and get one, feel free. But iguanas do have salmonella, so I'll be I'll advise against that. But yeah, this is your typical Florida iguana, and over there, I don't I don't know if you can see it right there in the grass that's the other one they came out about an hour ago i'm here having my lunch but they they bask they bask in the sun those of you those of you that have reptiles should know this i have two bearded dragons so i know how it is but yeah this is your typical florida iguana look at him right there on the tree branch Wow, look at him feeding. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's beautiful, man. You see how he gets the berries from the trees? Wow magnificent so you can be walking down the street or you can be underneath these trees and not have any idea that the iguana's right there oh someone saw me Oh, there he goes. I startled him. These are very beautiful animals. I actually like reptiles. Very, very, very beautiful animals. It's a shame because a, a lot of people, you see how he is in the middle of the road, well, the middle of the street here, a lot of people that work in this company like to come down that down this, down this, that alley, that's where the main gate is, and they think this is a freaking NASCAR um, track, and they just pass by here by 40 miles an hour. Oh, look, as you can see, there's the other one over there. All right, now, here we go. This one got away. But a, a lot of them, a lot of them don't make it. A lot of them, they don't, they don't make it. I seen already seven. I 
I'm guessing it's male and female. I'm not sure. I think it's a pair. Looks to be like male and female.